we got a uh, a buttload of trailers over the past couple days. Uh, today alone, I think, is when we got Across the Spider-Verse and Barbie dropped. But before we got that, we also got a new trailer for Secret Invasion. Now, Secret Invasion is something I've been really anticipating. I've been really looking forward to this show. I want to go back to that serious tone of Marvel. You know, that Civil War, that Winter Soldier tone of Marvel. And that is what it looks like um secret invasion is promising to deliver for me and all of the trailers i mean the trailer that we've had up until this point have been promising that and this trailer was no different i really really like the direction that they appear to be going in with secret invasion we also got a release date with this trailer apparently this thing's coming out june 21st so that's pretty awesome a month after guardians of the galaxy is when we'll get secret invasion nick fury samuel L. jackson looks amazing in this thing gruffled all scruffy i love the spy espionage kind of feel with the scrolls look great amelia clark was featured a little bit more in this trailer she looks like she's gonna be amazing and there's just this vibe that this trailer gives to you it feels old school Marvel, you know, like the, the Marvel phase four stuff that we've kind of been getting has felt a little lackluster it's, at, at times. It's felt a little goofy, a little silly. Thor, Thor Love and Thunder is a great example of that. Whereas Secret Invasion looks like it's going to have true consequences, at least I hope so, for the MCU overall. It looks like a great vehicle for Samuel L. Jackson to really shine as his character. The trailer was amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to the show even more after this trailer. But after we got Secret Invasion... We also move over to DC and we got the first look at Blue Beetle. Now, I have known nothing about this up until this point. I've never heard of Blue Beetle until this movie was announced. Originally, it was supposed to just be an HBO Max movie like Batgirl, but unlike Batgirl, who they just decided to can, they actually moved Blue Beetle into a theatrical spot. So I started getting a little bit more anticipated for what this Blue Beetle thing was going to be, and we got the kid Zolo. Zolo? I, I'm never going to get his last name right, so I'm just going to call him Zolo from uh, Cobra Kai. I really like him in Cobra Kai. He has a lot of charisma, He's and in this trailer, he definitely seems like he's bringing kind of a Tom Holland-ish spirit to the Blue Beetle character and this Blue Beetle trailer I thought was a lot of fun now the Blue Beetle trailer it doesn't it doesn't really look like it's breaking any new ground there was a lot of stuff in the trailer that kind of felt like other things his suit kind of looks like Iron Man the way that the scarab first attached to him in the trailer which I thought was a really cool and funny scene as his family's all freaking out I really enjoyed all that um it did feel a little bit like Venom to me even the line in the trailer by that one girl who's like sometimes it does what you want it sometimes it does its own thing feels a little bit like a like a Venom situation going on with these characters but I thought the the suit looks great Zolo looks like, he fits the role very well. I was really enjoying his performance, even in the little bit that we got. I will admit that the, when the trailer first started, I was kind of feeling like, yeah, this definitely does feel more like an HBO direct-to-TV kind of thing. But as we went along, man, it just got cooler, and I got more intrigued, and I just had a good time with the trailer. I think the movie's going to be a blast. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how Blue Beetle does, because I, I think... Blue Beetle, we've seen Shazam, Fury of the Gods, has just been a disaster. I think it only made like $4 million this past weekend. It is, it's losing money. Um, but I think because Blue Beetle will come after The Flash, I feel like The Flash is going to be a DC movie that a lot of audiences will come back for and get on board with. I think The Flash is going to do well. And I feel like Blue Beetle might have good momentum uh, coming off of The Flash. So this Blue Beetle movie might do better than I previously thought it might do. But as far as the first trailer goes... Uh, a job of the trailer is to take my excitement and bring it up a level, and that's exactly what Blue Beetle did. I'm super excited. Well, I'm not super excited, but I'm super intrigued to see what they bring us with Blue Beetle. All right, guys, moving on from Blue Beetle, we got our second look at Across the Spider-Verse. Now, this trailer gave us more of the visuals, gave us a little bit more of the story. So we got to see a little bit more of the threat from Spider-2099. There was a line in there about Doctor Strange and the nerdy kid on Earth-1999 or whatever it was. I don't know if that was a No Way Home reference, but I kind of I kind of perked up at that a little bit. But, you know, we didn't see Tom, Toby, or Andrew in the trailer at all. But this trailer I thought was a lot of fun. It's definitely giving what I feel like a lot of us want from Across the Spider-Verse, which is just that fun, energetic spirit that we got from Into the Spider-Verse. And I really liked the beginning of the trailer it looked like they were going more 
into um, Miles Morales and balancing the responsibility with his personal life, which is what I love so much about Spider-Man. So I liked seeing that being introduced a little bit more into this character's life with his parents and the principal scene. I thought that was great. All the Spider-Man stuff, all, the, all it's it's gimmicky to me. Like I prefer my Spider-Man. I've said this many times on the show before. I like my Spider-Man as as a solo. You know, doing his thing in New York. He's unique. He's special because he's the only one. When you bring in all these other Spider-Man. For the like, it, it's it's not as interesting to me. But I will admit that there was some fun stuff with the other Spider-Man in this trailer. Like they did the finger po- point meme. Uh, once again, we got it in a picture with Tom, Andrew, and Toby, and now we get it in across the Spider Verse with multiple different Spider-Man. So that was a lot of fun. And I kind of thought that this therapist bit at the end, when they all bust through the house. And the Spider-Man's talking to the other Spider-Man. He's like, it's my uncle. And he's like, let me guess, he died. Like, I, I, I got to chuckle out of that. I thought that was really fun. So, yeah, across the Spider-Verse, it's looking like it's it's smooth sailing ahead. The marketing has been good so far. These trailers have been good so far. I think this movie is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really anticipating seeing it come June. Now we get to a trailer. <laughs> oh, man. Now we get to a trailer that I don't even know. I don't even know. Barbie. Barbie, guys. Okay. So we got our first teaser for Barbie a couple months ago, and it was like this weird, I thought it was really creative, I thought it was cool, but it was like this weird 2001 Space Odyssey parody with all the girls and their old baby dolls, and then there's a gigantic Margot Robbie as Barbie standing before them. It it was cool. I liked the concept. I liked the creativity. But this trailer was a chance to give us more of what exactly we can expect from the movie. And I, I still don't know how to feel about this movie, because... First of all, aesthetically, amazing looking. All of the pink, all of the colors, all the all the they just pop so well. I think this movie already looks very gorgeous. I loved the beginning of the trailer when she steps out of the the heels and her toes are still her heels are still up and her toes are still planted to the floor like the Barbie doll. I thought that was really clever. The joke where they're all named Barbie and they're all named Ken. That was that was amusing too. And then there is a moment, there's a brief moment in the trailer when uh, Ken and Barbie are driving out of town. And there's a sign that says, real world this way or something like that. It's, It's like a little tease of what exactly this movie might be. Like, are these characters actually the toys that are that are living in this this fantasy world and they're gonna go out and find the real world i don't i don't know i don't know what to take from this movie i will say that um i I, the not all the jokes worked for me i thought the end bit with with uh first of all simi lu looks like he's gonna be really really good in this movie i'm looking forward to seeing the chemistry between him and and uh and uh ryan gosling but this end bit where it was like it's a beach off i'll beach off you i'll beach like i I don't know. It didn't really work for me. It, it felt kind of juvenile. I'm still not kind. I'm still not sure what to expect, what, what to anticipate from this movie. I don't really know how to feel about this movie. All I know for sure is that the cast looks amazing. It looks stunningly amazing visually, but the humor seems a little weird to me, and the whole concept seems weird to me. So, as far as a trailer's job taking your excitement level up a notch, this trailer didn't really do that for me. If anything, it just kind of made me more confused. Maybe not more confused, but it didn't really help my confusion. So, anyway, guys, those are all of the big trailers that we really got this week. Uh, what trailer stuck out to you? Which was your favorite? For me, I think my favorite trailer was honestly either Secret Invasion or Blue Beetle. Just because Blue Beetle was so fresh and new, and I'm really looking forward to Secret Invasion. But I want to hear from you guys. What trailer stuck out to you the most? What are you most looking forward to? Comment down below. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions. And without further ado, let's take a look at what you guys are saying about this.